welcome back to another weekly vlog today is monday labor day so happy labor day even though it's gone but happy labor day so i've just been filming the entire morning i'm so excited i got so much done and i'm so happy last week wasn't very productive for me because i was simply just not in the mood so today this week i'm coming back with a bang back to it but this week's vlog, we have a sponsor, Lulu's. So huge thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring this week's vlog and action. Hey guys, so this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Lulu's. I was able to choose a couple pieces from their site, so I'm gonna be sharing those with you. I mean, you're gonna be obsessed with everything I got. It's giving fall glam black girl in luxury and I am here for it okay I am here for it so the first item I'm going to share with you guys is what I'm currently wearing this is a tie top that you can tie yourself and it's just in this beautiful 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 orange color it's long sleeve and it's very similar to the Lulu's top I wore around my birthday it's pink I'll put the picture here the same kind of fabric it does have buttons here though and you can like you know fasten it I cannot wait to wear these I'm definitely going to wear it with like long white dress pants and heels or even black pants oh my god Oh my god, black pants would also be a vibe as well. So the next item I tried on is this green dress. And come on, isn't this the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen? It is so stunning. The fabric is insane. I was not expecting such quality. This dress is just beautiful. Back is just like a regular square back neckline. I'm not even wearing a bra with this. And the fabric is like strong enough to like hold me up. This is just going to look so nice for like holiday parties or even just like Thanksgiving or anything like that. I'm so happy that I chose this because I love having these like dressier pieces in my wardrobe. They're definitely going to come in handy. Okay, this next dress is giving everything that I thought it was going to give. It is so girly and so pretty. I'm literally about to like scream. It is such a beautiful dress. It's not necessarily like a red red, but it's a wine red, which I I absolutely prefer because it's just like deep. I'm just so happy to have gotten with this one. It has a little bit of the mesh thing, you know, that gives the dress kind of like a little poof. And oh my goodness, it's so stunning, you guys. This one actually has a crisscross back, which is Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful and I love the color. I feel so pretty in this. Again, Valentine's Day, holiday parties, Thanksgiving. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. Okay, this next piece I chose is actually a jumpsuit. It's quite long and kind. It's quite long and definitely will need a bra for this one because the top part is a little bit roomy, but that's an easy fix, you know? This is also another like dressy piece that I thought would come in handy. I love the color, it's kind of like a mauve shade, which is really, really gorgeous. Um, it's quite long as well. I have really long legs. I don't know if you guys have noticed, like I have a very short torso, like I can fit my old torso in my you know, with my fingers and then like a chest and everything, but I have really long legs, so things typically don't fit me even though I'm 5'5", five five. but yeah, fits me perfectly. I'm gonna turn you guys this way so you guys can see the full length of this gorgeous number. Stunning, 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 stunning. And it's also in that satin fabric, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. It just looks like butter on the brown skin, and I'm just saying, and I'm just saying, like everyone needs I love these pieces and I love this fabric because it just literally looks like butter on my brown skin and that is a vibe and always and you guys know and you guys know I love these sort of fabrics because it simply just looks like butter on the skin butter on my brown skin and yeah I love her okay so don't worry I didn't get all dressy pieces I got some very simple dresses as well so these dresses were very trendy during the summer with the cutout sides and everything. And to be quite honest, I did buy a couple and they turned out to be complete garbage. Like the top was too loose, it was dropping everywhere. But you know, I knew Lulu's was not going to disappoint. It is just such a fitted, stunning dress and it's very tasteful. Again, I've seen these dresses in the very different shapes and styles and form and they don't always look flattering to me. Like this, it can be a little bit tacky, but this one is gorgeous and it's also in a sweater material. So I would rock this during the fall for sure. I also got this in a 
chocolate shade as well because this is gonna be my pre-fall dress and then when it's like full on fall i definitely would wear this one again very very stunning i might even wear some skims with this just to kind of further snatch my stomach because i don't want any nothing showing at all can't tell I've had way too much coffee but how cute were those dresses so cute so my room is a complete disaster a disaster I've been shooting all morning there is stuff everywhere on the floor on the bed and all of that and cost is actually on her way over to help me edit some videos so I'm going to clean up my room because you know when you have guests coming, you have to fix up your place because it's not a good look and even though cost and I are friends it doesn't matter I want her to be greeted with a fresh clean space. She's probably gonna be here in like half an hour, so I'm gonna hurry it up. So shoot a combo. Happy Wednesday! So I'm currently doing a live with you guys. You're helping me curate my grocery list right now. I'm gonna flip you guys around so you can see yourselves, kind of. I thought this was gonna be chaotic, but you guys actually gave me some really great things to grab. I'm actually excited I did this. So I'm gonna take you guys to the grocery store in a bit, but let me finish up here, then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. I have a couple things on my list. I just requested my car slash Uber and that's just gonna be here in six minutes. So let me just go through my list with you guys really quickly. So in the dairy section, we have milk, eggs, cheese, and feta cheese. In the fruit section, I have oranges, lemons, blueberry, blackberry, and pineapple. And the grains are like, I don't know, I guess grains. I have quinoa. I already have brown rice and white rice in the cupboard here. And then for vegetables, I want asparagus and broccoli, but I might scratch off the broccoli because for some reason I cannot eat broccoli, like, for fun. Ooh, but I can put it in a stir fry though. Yum. I have water, juice. I'm only gonna get one juice. Everyone keeps re um, referring to this 
sparkling strawberry juice. So I'm gonna try to find that and then iced coffee and then oat milk. Then in the frozen section, arrabbiata, mini tacos, a frozen shrimp, then the Alfredo thing that I love. In the canned section, I need black bean and corn because I might make that black bean corn dip thing today that Renee taught us last summer. Then I want, also wanna get some spicy salsa and tortilla chip. And I feel like that's all I really need, to be honest. So here's my list. I'm gonna just bring this to the grocery store. So I am back from Trader Joe's. I did not vlog too much in there, so. But I'm home now, I got five bags worth of stuff. Bringing them upstairs is literally a struggle, but I'm team one trip and one trip only, so I did it. Um, so I'm gonna just do a really quick haul for you guys. So I just got a tray of eggs. I got some peppers. I'm gonna meal prep meatballs um, for myself. So I'm gonna just make some Meatballs and stuff. I don't like um, pre-made or store-bought meatballs a lot, so I'm just gonna make some myself. So I just got two peppers. I also got two limes. I'm gonna make a dip later, so you guys will see how I make that. And I got two cans of garbanzo beans, aka chickpeas, whatever I want. Also got some pink Himalayan salt, so just very random. Also got a shampoo and a conditioner. I love to use these on my like my extensions, my weave, so. I just got that for that reason. It's perfect for color treated hair. So I love it. Then I got another can of chai tea latte. It's chai tea latte season. Next bag, I got a big bag of tortilla chips. I'm not going to eat remotely close to this entire bag, but they don't have smaller bags of chips, which is just so annoying. I always have to buy this big bag. I got a lot of um, drinks though. I got coconut water. I think I got two of these. Got two. Instead of juice, I love to just drink coconut water. Um, it's not too sweet. It's like a different way to kind of just hydrate your body. It's very hydrating, so yeah. Also got some really large things of alkaline water. I didn't get a full case. Instead, I only got two. Next up, I got thyme, blueberries, a cucumber. I got a thing of mixed greens. I meant to get balsamic vinegar right for this, but I forgot to look. Okay, got some scallions. I got some feta cheese. This is gonna go in the dip that I'm going to make later. I got some asparagus. I got some snack sized cheese. Which I, I love to snack on cheese, just, you know, just grab one and chew on it. Roasted corn, it's gonna be a part of the dip as well. Cilantro, a part of the dip. Is this cilantro? I hope it, I hope so, actually. What is this? I kind of feel like it's not cilantro. It's parsley. I got some organic cold brew coffee. These are so strong and they, they do what they need to do. I'm not a massive coffee drinker, but when I do drink coffee, I want it to be strong because otherwise, what am I doing? So I just got three of these. I got a little thing of lollipops, just organic lollipops. Snack packet of almonds for those, you know, when you want to snack on something, love having those. I also got this butter waffle cookie, like cookie, Cookie? Waffle cookies? I've never had this before, so I'll keep you guys updated. I have got a bag of like mandarin oranges. Again, really good to snack on. Chicken broth. I love to just have this because it comes in handy when you're cooking. 
anything really just to kind of you know and finally the next bag i have contains all my favorite like trader joe's like frozen food items so i have the penne arrabbiata i got two of these i got some fettuccine alfredo and i got three of these as well i got some soup dumplings i got chicken and then on my live someone told me about the argentinian red shrimp it's seasoned with garlic, butter, and tagarashi style seasoning. I don't really know what that is, but I just got this to try it out. They said it's really good over pasta, so I'll give it a shot. And then I just got some oat milk. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. So I am getting ready to head out to Amazing Lash Studios. I will be getting lash extensions again. I have not gotten them in over a year and a half or maybe a little less than that, but it's been a long time. As you guys know, I've been getting questions about like why I stopped doing them. No particular reason, they're just one of those things. It's truly a luxury because you're very addicting. You have to keep going every two, we two weeks and they're very expensive. So I kind of stopped and also they really damaged my natural lashes, but we are back and healthy again. So I thought, you know, I might do it because today I'm actually going to the New York Fashion Week show for PLT and I just want to look a little bit glam. So I thought now is the best time to do it when I have things to actually do, you know? So Hold on, let me take my phone off D&D because I ordered an Uber. So yeah, basically, I'm ready to go. I just wanted to share my outfit with you guys really quickly. I have on this Align tank top from Lululemon as well as their Align leggings. This trench coat I picked up from Aritzia yesterday. It's their Lawson trench coat, I believe it's called. And yeah, it's kind of overcast and a little bit chilly today. So I thought I would just wear something to be comfortable. And then I have my Longchamp bag and my rothy sneakers which i might switch over to the tan pair because the white is a little bit i don't know i hate when my bag and my shoes isn't coordinating Curl that you're looking for, so it's gonna be. What more... prom did I have before? 
C curl, so that was more of like a relaxed curl. I'll do the relaxed curl. Okay, sounds okay. good. So yeah, let's do that then. We just go before. Also, we have two different types of volume lashes now. Okay. So we have the 60s, which is what you've had in the past. Um, and then we also have 90s. Okay, let's look at the 6. 6, okay. Yeah, All right. yeah the 6 is fine. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Alright, see you guys soon. <laughs> so my lash appointment is complete. I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna get started on my brow lamination. And right now, I love my lashes. She literally captured exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that's okay i want a natural but not to wake up and look the same because what's the point of like paying all this money to look the same but um yeah i love them so much this is the top view um they're just so nice i love them i love them and see i look so someone and i look so much better already i look like i'm wearing makeup but i'm not it's just the lashes it just gives you that natural beauty look Love it. So let me go because someone just knocked. So I'm currently at Toast having breakfast. I got my brows laminated. They look so crazy. Everyone keeps staring at me and it's so embarrassing because I look like Jack Barr from The Lion King. But um, I stopped at Toast to grab some breakfast. I'm just gonna eat breakfast now. I ordered the Sundays on the farm, which is basically corned beef hash with eggs and one single pancake. I'm gonna just eat that and then I'm just going to head home. Um, I just got news that I'm able to bring a plus one to PLT fashion show. So I am super psyched because I was so nervous about going alone. I'm not like a shy person. I mean, I am a shy person, but not shy to the point where I can't go out alone. But I know it's going to be a big event and I wanted to like share it with someone. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring you guys in this week's vlog though because my vlog, I don't really know how long it is yet. I don't know. But I kind of just want to focus on editing. I have a lot of work to do before I'm able to like leave out for the show. So I just want to be worried about vlogging on top of everything else that I have to do. So that's basically where I'm at right now. But yeah, let's have some breakfast. I'm going to relax this time. Have a couple errands to do on my phone, like emails and stuff. So I'm just going to do that while I'm sitting here. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but let's eat. So after brunch, I came home, did some editing, and now it's time for me to get ready for the PLT fashion show. I'm just doing my hair, my makeup, and you know, the whole deal. I didn't really film during this portion because I was running a little bit behind, as usual.
guys, sorry I had to rush with getting ready. I was really cutting it way too close. But now I'm on my way to the PLT fashion show. We encountered a little bit of traffic on the way, which kind of set us back even more. Once we arrived, there was a long line and they weren't even trying to let us in at the door, which is super frustrating because we had tickets and seating arrangements. But after a little finesse, I was able to get in and we made it just in time for the final walk of the models. Yes, a huge thanks to Kowser for getting this bit of footage because I did not vlog one bit. So once we got in, again, it was final walk of the models. We could barely see anything, but I ran into a few of my faves, one of which was Christina from Selling Sunset. I love her. I stand. So I was able to get a photo with her. And then I also ran into Ricky Thompson. And again, I love him and I stand. So I got a photo with him as well. And that's pretty much it for the PLT event. I'm so sorry I didn't get any more footage. But after that, we went to a rooftop bar, hang out, had some drinks, and that was pretty much it for the night.